how do you see businesses that specialize in insurance supplements? Do you see them as, you know, accountants who helps insurance companies and contractors just count their estimates, like more like accountable estimators, or do you see them as someone who's abusing overwhelming system already? That's the question. How do you see supplement businesses in insurance? I can't say that I've seen them that often. However, if they can, if they have a system in place that makes it easier for those supplements, I, I wouldn't disagree using them. Uh, anybody who's helpful in the process, I think Steve would even ag agree with me on that one. Now, I would, I would pick a path and stick to the path. Uh, if you're working with a contractor, let the contractor work. If you've, if you've moved on and, and you've, you're using a PA, let them do it. But I certainly, I wouldn't u utilize both of them at the same time. However, if you do, let them know that. Because <laughs> I think we all have, have seen some policyholders that uh, was like, okay, well, I'm gonna send these, these two separate entities working on my behalf off at the same time on the same claim and you know we'll just see which one does better uh and that's that's definitely not the way to do it so I, here's what i teach my clients when i speak to insurance companies if the contractor who has the contract for the roof calls you up after and says hey we're done with the job we had to replace four sheets of plywood three turtle vents and a couple of other things. I've got photos, I'm gonna send you a supplement, you should pay it, right? Why would that contractor do the work if it was not reasonably necessary? We should pay legitimate supplements from contractors who did the work. But, uh, Dimitri, your question's a little different. Your question is about supplementing companies. These outfits who have shown up in Colorado and other places who call up the insurance company and pretend they're the contractor. Uh, and they say, hey, I'm an Xactimate expert and I'm gonna send you a new Xactimate estimate that jacks up the job from $17,000 to $30,000 with a whole bunch of new line items that were not necessarily done, but they've been to an Xactimate master's class and learned how to supplement and paid $399 to some guy in Topeka teaching them how to do that. And you all know that's what goes on, all right? And what I tell my clients when they get a call from that guy, to hang up on them. You owe them no obligation at all because that person is trying to make a living off the claims process that they are a stranger to. And you all know they work on a contingency fee. So the more they can bleed out of my clients, the more they make. Now let's go back to the first part of my answer. If a brick and mortar contractor who did the job incurred extra costs that are reasonable and covered, I hope to hell my clients pay for it. Chad, you have one minute you didn't use on this question. So oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, uh, are there any third party <laughs> estimators and supplementers in the house? <laughs> <laughs> or online, just text, text Dimitri. <laughs> I, I have to agree. I mean, unless, unless you're part of the claims handling process for that claim, just stay out of it. 